Hello fellow astrophotographers and welcome back to our channel. Today is a second attempt of imaging Comet Atlas A3 with uh, William Optics Mini Cat. Um, the weather is a bit better today. I went to a similar spot towards the mountains above the clouds. It's a pretty amazing view today. There are some uh, thin clouds towards the west, but Comet is now pretty high, I think, so I might, I might be able to catch it uh, without too much cloud cover. But we will see how it goes. Either way, it's a beautiful view and some workout for me. And I also brought with me two lenses, 50 millimeters and 11 millimeters for some uh, uh, wide field shots before it gets dark so I can see where it is uh, when it's not too obvious. But when it gets dark, I will probably uh, attach the Sony to the Mini Cat 51 and try to uh, get a closer look at the comet. It's getting dimmer now because it's far or it's, uh, it's uh, further away from the sun, but we'll see how it goes. Now before I get into the details about shooting the Comet, uh, just a quick notice. We will uh, be offering a limited edition of uh, Red Cat flaps with uh, the Cat uh, logo on the front of the flap panel which uh, goes together nicely with your Red Cat. If you wish to get one, uh, do not hesitate to comment below or send us an email. Simply stunning sunset. Now I will set up the Sony with wide field lens. I can already see the Venus up there. The comet is a bit above it, so I will set this up. I just moved my time-lapse 360 camera to the nearby mounting position. <laughs> DIY. Now let's put on the camera and see how it goes. While I was preparing gear for shooting the comet, I also made a time lapse, you can see now. And uh, after it got dark, the comet actually became very uh, easy target with naked eye with about 5 to 10 degrees of tail. I was a bit surprised by the brightness, so I tried to make a video with 50 mm lens, you can see it now. Uh, the comet is an easy target even in video mode. Uh, after that I split the remaining time until the moonrise between the two lenses and the Mini Cat uh, 51 and after the moonrise I made a time lapse of the moon uh, rising behind some trees. Now let's take a look. When I got home I decided to stack the data from MiniCat 51, here is the result without the stars. On the right side you can see the bright uh, main tail and on the left the hint of the anti tail. Uh, this is where I actually wanted to wrap this video up but next day the forecast was good again so I went back up to the same location we were at the first time with kids when it was cloudy. But this time I stumbled upon on the cometary shooting workshop and met, and met a bunch of very nice people. So I just made a few time lapses and a short video of the comet with the Mini Cat 51. 
but to finish this video off in the end you will also be able to see the stack of 15 frames uh, shot from my backyard today at uh, 1250 millimeters of focal length after that uh, the clouds rolled in um, so take a look enjoy if you have any questions do not hesitate to comment below and as always clear skies